the difference between an ordinary human being and a superhuman is the width of his mental scope and the broadness of his horizon. That's the only thing which distinguish both. Greetings, my human beings. This again is Rudolf of Germany, uh, the tall white alien. Some people believe that a quick mind, the way of sucking in information and processing it, is the goal, is uh, the end result of a well-trained brain. Well, for most it is, on this very plane of existence. But a superhuman has another ability, a superhuman or a DNA-enhanced hybrid, as we produce in some very few and lucky ones of you. Such a superhuman can look at a thing from many different vantage points. Just when you are able to neutralize your own very egotistical existence and look very neutral at the world around you, you are capable of understanding the big picture. Let me give you a small example. A young man and a beautiful young lady just got married and they're walking from uh, the ceremony of marriage by themselves on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. She's still in the wedding dress and he is dressed sharply hand in hand along a river bench. There they walk and they're looking at each other in love and all of a sudden a mighty huge crocodile jumps out of the river, grabs the tiny beautiful young bride and pulls her into the water and in front of the eyes of the young groom starts swallowing the screaming young lady. He will swim, it will swim away with the bride and part of the white wedding dress is still hanging out of his mouth as well as one foot and shoe wiggling and slowly coming to a still stand. He had taken himself this afternoon a beautiful juicy young piece of meat with him, swallowed it and goes to the next sandbank to lay down in the sun and digest this young lady and feeling very well and satisfied. The same, a little bit different, a young man would have done, enjoyed that juicy young lady in a different way, of course, but now he can no more. She's gone. Victim of a huge man-eating reptile. Now the question arises, is this animal, is this a reptile, this enormously big crocodile, man-eater, bad? Is this animal merciless? Should this animal be killed? Or just, or did this animal just that, what it was meant to do for millions and millions of years? Feed itself in order to stay alive. 
Well, you could have said, if the creature would have any mercy and any love in his heart, and it would be a little bit more advanced than just having a reptilian brain, would have a bit more of brain and mercy in itself. And might have let the bride go into a marriage of happiness for many months before boredom sets in. And the husband would have loved, looking back, her to be eaten by a crocodile. No, this animal can't, but if it could, it would have let go of the bride and wait for the next opportunity to feed itself. Let's say an old lady is taking out her beautiful groomed poodle along the river bench for an afternoon walk. She looks at this beautiful animal and the animal looks at her and both are happy and in love with each other as an old lady can be loving her pet. Then again the crocodile who has spared the life of the bright is lurking and grabbing that poodle. The old lady would be for the rest of her days heartbroken, thinking back on the moment of horror where the crocodile just slumped, slammed onto this animal and swallowed it once. Also, this would be a cruel act, correct? Well, if the crocodile would have the capacity of mercy, of empathy, this crocodile would die of hunger and would have no chance to survive, as any other crocodile who, which would have developed mercy, empathy, and love in its heart. This love would be counterproductive for this kind of species of creature. Only mercilessness makes these animals thrive. I want you to understand that as many call us tall whites cruel because we feed of the emotions of humans, should consider that other species have not the same capacities as you in their heart to conduct themselves merciful. But then even you are only merciful selectively because you kill all day and even if you don't do it yourself, you let kill to divulge animals and plants. But only a superhuman can understand the full implication of living and let live or understanding that cruelty is a fact of life without life could not exist. This is one of the things I am teaching my inner circle of DNA enhancement members. And I hope through these videos also you out there watching this, opening your scope of mind a bit further to understand different people of different races, of different colors, even animals and their behavior, and trying to sit back and say, well, the way this world is functioning is not necessarily the way I want it to function. But nevertheless, there is no other way available. Rudolf of Germany. <laughs>